Welcome back to the channel. This is Clay. You're watching Nomad Adventures. Uh, last minute camping trip. I'm out here at the Marpaw Swamp WMA pull off. Uh, probably not supposed to be here, but I wanted to uh, get some camping done. The weather's pretty nice and it's not going to be too low of temperatures tonight. Uh, kind of racing against the clock. It's about 4.30 right now. I need to hurry up and get some firewood. We got some store stuffed pork chops in the fridge inside. Also some beers. Gonna have a good night and uh, I'll keep y'all updated. Alright, brought the trusty axe with me. Um, it works really great uh, for bigger pieces. But just to speed up the process. Also brought these. It just makes the process a lot easier. And like I said, racing against the sun falling down. And I want to get my fire started before I can't see anything got the headlamp but you can only see so much so we'll get to chopping wood We got the fire going. I'm gonna let it get a little bit bigger. Throw some more of these sticks on there. And I brought this little grate from my house off an old barbecue pit. Next thing I'm gonna try to do is try to stake some of these sticks in the ground so I can just kind of half-ass hold it a little bit. I got some stuffed pork chops in the fridge like I was telling y'all from uh, Junior's Meat Market down the road. We're gonna go ahead and try to grill those things up. I don't know how it's gonna work. If not, I got plan B. I'll just throw it in the uh, in the camper, I'll put it on the on the stove and we'll go ahead and cook it that way, but we'll see what we can get with that. I tried the sticks to kind of support that up over the fire, not gonna work. Uh, so I came up with a little plan. I'm gonna drink four of these bad boys and I'll put them at each corner and then we're gonna put the grate on top of that and then hopefully we're gonna be eating good. All right, so this is what I came up with. Drank uh, about four beers, I thought I'd need four, but only need two. I'm just gonna lean my grate on that piece of wood right there. And uh, we'll try to throw the pork chop on top of that, see how it works. Not too confident in it, but you only know if you try, I guess. So I'm gonna go grab the pork chop. We're gonna go get that ready, and then we're gonna slap it on top of there. All right. right now I actually got my two Bosch lights running off the 18 volt lithium batteries. Still haven't got the solar yet, so I'm just gonna deal with that right now. But breaking out the pork chop, like I said, this is a stuffed pork chop I got from Junior's Meat Market and God damn, look at that. Look at that. I'm sure it's seasoned perfectly, but uh, we're gonna test her out. We're gonna see what's shaking with it. Um, Should have got some aluminum foil before I started this camping trip, but I didn't. So we're gonna see how it cooks on the fire. Worst comes to worst, we'll just bring it in here. I got a pan I can cook it on. Not the ideal situation. Go ahead and get this on the fire and uh, I'll see y'all then. All right, got the fire going nice and hot. Gonna try to get this up with the spatula. My hands are kind of dirty, so. Yes, indeed, look at that beautiful specimen. Right there, we'll go ahead and Pop that down. It's a little bit rickety, but she'll do. I mean, she's resting perfectly on the fire. I mean, you know, we might have to bring it inside, but at the same time, it looks like it's doing perfect. I'll go ahead and cook this up, and uh, I'll show y'all the end result after I finish cooking. 
I'm gonna go ahead and tend to this and uh, see y'all in just a little bit. This is definitely going better than I thought. Uh, definitely need to flip it. It is getting a little charred on the on the bottom. Oh yeah, maybe uh, maybe a little too charred. But you know, I guess that's what you get with campfire cookings. Uh, I'll let y'all know how this turns out. It's not looking too favorable, but it is a store stuffed pork chop and I will uh, definitely eat it regardless. It's a little bit burnt for my liking. Uh, I'll let y'all know. Look at that right there. Beautiful. Busting out the seams. The other side's not favorable, but you know, we can get over that. The fire was a little bit too hot, so it charred the outside a little bit, but I'm just making sure it's been cooked right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and bust this open. We're gonna get to eating. Uh, just a little bit more on the other side. I just wanna make sure the pork's all the way cooked through. I'm gonna cut it open, see if it's uh, cooked, and then we're gonna go ahead and eat it. So we're gonna go ahead and cut into this uh, pork chop. First of all, let me get y'all. Let me get y'all a little peek at that. Look at that, stuffed. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut cut through this mob, and we're gonna see what it's hitting for. Ridiculous. Insanity. I tell you what, I thought I charred the outside. Goddamn. Junior's Meat Market got it going on, I'll tell you that. Look at that. Look at that beautiful piece of cut of meat. Pork chop. Stuff pork chop. There we go. Unmatched. Unmatched. I can I tell you what. I'm gonna go ahead and ruin this right now. I'll get back with y'all when I'm done. <laughs> 